Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. session of the 2023 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, Message Art, Say What? Our speakers are Kisma Stepanich Riedling, and who is Julieta Surreal Dreaming, and Reiner Schneeberger, who is Art Blue. If you attended the previous session, you know that Kisma is a writer and artist, and Art Reiner has passion for AI and is an artist and art curator. Please check out the website at conference.opensimilar.org for their speaker bios, details of the sessions, and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, you may send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag pound OSCC23. Welcome everyone. Let's begin the session. Hi, Lear. Thank you so much for that nice uh, opening. And hello, everyone. As always, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here at OSCC 23. I am slotted to present message art, say what, but I've made a slight change. Well, it's a big change, actually. Um, on my slide, you can see the addition of three words, plus a demonstration. So let's move forward. I have a dream, just like Martin Luther King. And this dream I want to share with you, OK? And it goes beyond my message art presentation. I will take a moment to say something on MSG art before sharing my dream with you. So I plan to speak about the infiltration of AI everything, AI art, AI writing, AI music, AI scripting, and how there seems to be an ever increasing trend in surrendering one's creativity to a machine or rather AI applications. This doesn't come as a surprise to some of you, but it is my true opinion that AI creations are no different than using the Google search engine and finding things to use. So I'm sorry if that does offend anyone. So quick note, in, uh, or in IRL or in the outer world, uh, most art curators will not accept AI art for exhibitions. So that's kind of interesting, don't you think? All right, instead of uh, talking about MSG art and going on a little rant, I decided to show message art in an exhibit in a temporary surreal gallery located on Meta. And of course, please do check out the OSCC Surreal Museum 2023 editions. Anyway, on the slide is the blurb I wrote for my presentation, but... I'm going to do a demonstration instead. But first, I have a story to tell you. I invite you to stay here focused, opening your mind, opening your heart just for today, just for this moment in time. The demonstration will require your participation, all of our participants to Lula participation. You see, I got so distracted by world events and have been looking at tribe earth, meaning all people on this planet with whom we are all related, we all go back to origin. And I'm so sad that many world leaders can't seem to consciously evolve past a certain primitive mindset of power over and mine, 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 mine mentality and insist on having armed conflicts. So today, we need to be aware that in fact, more than 114 armed conflicts are happening on our planet home. Some make the headlines and some do not. How archaic, haven't we learned anything? Because of the world's state of affairs, especially with two insane wars that are relatively new raging, I found it more important 
to do a demonstration instead of a presentation. But first I need to tell you a story, a phenomenal story, a story that is the foundation of a belief I have that underlines the reason for this demonstration. I believe that through intentional unified consciousness, we have an incredible ability to affect change in our world. So I'm going to tell you the story of IMO. This story began in 1952, six years before the year I was born, on the Isle of Kashima, Japan. A group of primatologists began studying the behaviors and habitats of a troop of snow monkeys. The researchers fed the troop sweet potatoes, but dumped them on the ground in an open area. Clearly, the monkeys enjoyed the sweet potatoes, though they showed dislike for the dirt and other debris that got on them. Every morning, a load of sweet potatoes was dumped in an open area near a stream. One day, it was reported that an 18-month-old female monkey they eventually named Imo found a solution and brought about a social improvement by accident. By accident, she dropped her potato into the stream before eating it. The scientists realized Imo had made a discovery. For on the following day, Imo chose a sweet potato, promptly took it to the water, and washed away the dirt before eating it. Yes, it didn't take long for the young monkey to wash a potato and share it with her mother, who instantly began doing the same. Imo shared it with other young monkeys who shared it with their mothers. And so over a short period of time, the potato washing habit spread through the troop. And soon this cultural discovery was eventually being used by many of the monkeys the adults who imitated their children learned this social improvement first, while interestingly, childless adults continued to eat dirty sweet potatoes. Gradually, the older generation of childless monkeys began using the custom, and this social improvement spread until finally, all the monkeys learned potato washing. Then, another startling phenomenon was observed. In 1958, when all the Koshima monkeys were washing sweet potatoes, a new group consciousness is theorized as having somehow created an ideological breakthrough. For overseas, on other islands, and on the mainland, with having, without having been shown to do so, troops of monkeys began washing their sweet potatoes. A hypothesis was then drawn that when a certain critical number achieves an awareness, this new awareness can be communicated through mental energy to all members of the species. Thus, the hundredth monkey phenomenon was formed and for the last 60 years has been put to use by spiritual and metaphysical community communities mostly, but have documented positive results. Through my own practice with the 100th monkey, I support the theory that when a certain number of people achieve an awareness, the new awareness is communicated from mind to mind, yielding the requested result. Some call this a form of magic, others a miracle. Regardless whether magic or miracle, the hundredth monkey phenomenon points out our responsibilities and our power. We can, do, will achieve a consciously intended change. I will demonstrate this hundredth monkey magic to all of you today. I'm inviting you to join me in a peace demonstration, a good old fashioned peace rally for our planet home. Yes, you heard and read correctly. 
We are having a world peace demonstration and it will take all of us to affect change. I mean, hey, what have we got to lose trying this and think about it? If if we have every single one of us focusing on this conscious intention, then we will make a difference. I have just rezzed. I have just rezzed a box in front of me. And I'm inviting you to, I know this is going to be hard, but please stand, everyone. Please stand and click the box I've rezzed. A folder will go into your inventory. Add both items to your avatar. And know that just as I am changing our environment up here on the stage, that by raising this peace pole, I believe we become the hundredth monkey phenomenon right here and, and that we affect change in a war consciousness and shift aggression to peace. So I am inviting you to begin to center peace in your mind. Peace in your heart. Peace in every thought you have right now just for today, just for this moment in time. Now, I was going to invite everyone to put on their mics, but I realize voice is unavailable. So please chant out loud in your own space and time, okay? And please speak it in your own language. Let the vibration of our words as in a moment we all join together and chant the peace chant. Let it become part of this incredible vibration that will go up our peace pole and embrace and surround planet Earth, embracing it with peace, and that this peace will circle around the planet. And just one quick moment, I want to hold the home planet against my heart. So I'm doing it with you. Although it's not, there we go, there we go. And together, everyone, we're going to chant it three times. I'm putting the slide up now. And please join me. And let us believe, dear family, let us believe we are affecting change in our world. We begin. May peace prevail on earth. May peace prevail in our minds. May peace prevail in my mind. May peace prevail in my heart. May I know peace. May my ancestors know peace. May my children's children unto seven generations know peace. May peace prevail on earth. And as we prepare to chant a second round, we are asking the Dana She to bring peace, a lay down of arms, a ceasefire by December 26th, the full moon. Let us say it a second time. Here we go. May peace prevail on earth. May peace prevail in our minds. May peace prevail in my mind. May peace prevail in my heart. May I know peace. May my ancestors know peace. May my children's children unto seven generations know peace. May peace prevail on earth. And now we come to our last time. Say it with full conviction. Say it out loud, loudly for anyone in your environment to hear. Don't hold back. Believe this. Really believe this and let's send it out. May peace 
prevail on earth. May peace prevail in our minds. May peace prevail in my mind. May I know peace. May my ancestors know peace. May my children's children unto seven generations know peace. May peace prevail on earth. And now, please let your heart feel this peace and take a deep breath. Take a deep breath in your heart. And as you exhale, please receive this blessing, this blessing of deep peace that I share with you. Deep peace of the running wave to you, deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you, deep peace of the pure green earth to you. Let peace, let peace, let peace heal your soul. May peace, may peace, may peace make you whole. Deep peace and blessings be. Thank you. My heart is filled with gratitude for each and every one of you. And may our blessing be received earthwide. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that brings me to the end. Thank you, Julieta, for a moving and inspirational session. I haven't seen any questions in the uh, chat, so I'm going to um, thank you for this amazing experience and for reminding us how important peace is. As a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out the conference.openseminar.org to see what is coming up in the conference schedule. You will not want to miss our next session, which begins after the break at 1230, and it's entitled The Viewer Panel after the hour meal break. Now, there are three sessions scheduled over the break, plus you can tour the conference expo regions. Please check the schedule for them. They include our Core Dev VIP, Nix's demo in his grid at Pangea Grid, and Kelso's on the Meta region. Check the schedule for more details on those locations. Also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC X23 Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo 3 region to find accompanying information on the speakers and their presentations and to explore the hypergrid resources in OSCC Expo 2 region, along with our sponsor and our crowdfunder booths in all of the Expo regions. Thank you again, Kisma and Art, and to you, the audience.